I have been in the pecan droppings for about 30 minutes, just digging up trash after trash after trash. I finally got a decent signal right here, which is 81. I'm not concerned it's gonna be that burnt aluminum. That's what we're looking for. This particular hole had a 74 in it. It does not anymore. It's right here. There was a home here. It is gone. There's more to the story. There's so many nails. This whole area is completely full of nails. And they all give off a high tone until you get something like that. I was hoping that was a scout. It is a scout. Look at that. Finally, something cool. I can't get into the groove of metal detecting here lately, but a scout buckle. It's pretty awesome to me. So we shall harvest. Here's a fella pulled up. He's out here picking pecans up off the ground. See, that's all nails everywhere. This is a 58. More aluminum. I thought it was just gonna be a pull tab. Or According to my machine, it should be a piece of gold. This next one was an 88 until I got it out. I think it's going to be iron. No, it is melted. It is iron. Never mind. thought for sure this is going to be impressive. Anyone know what that is? I do know. I'll give you a hint. It goes under the hood of a car. This is an 82. Like I usually do, I try to always dig next to the hole. Stop. You know what I thought that was? I thought that was the end of a sword. But it is another piece of that car part. I got a, a nice 88 next to these ants. They're crawling at my feet. And I got a feeling. I think my feeling is wrong. I'm trying to hurry. That is a I don't know. That was giving me my high tone. Yeah, I brought it to the side to check it out. That's brass. I think it's just a knockout or a piece of slag type junk off of something bigger and better, but either way, it's like a brass. I got a, uh, I got a nice 80s right at the base of this black walnut tree. It's not deep. It's neat having a black walnut tree right next to a uh, pecan tree. 
There it is, because there's always one or two of these lids. Shallow, 72. Feel it. There's a lawnmower blade, slightly used, early mulching. I got a nice 82 right here. Again, not deep, so probably a bottle cap, but maybe it's not a bottle cap. better is that okay now that we have marked the spot is 77 high tone another piece of brass don't know what that is but we're gonna harvest everybody wants a gun everybody wants to find a gun metal detecting Everybody, no matter what kind of relics you're looking for, there's always excitement finding a gun. Even a piece of a toy one is exciting. The rest of it may be down there. I'm going to leave it for the next person that wants to enjoy the excitement. This ground has so much whatever in it. It does not, it does not compact at all. This is another 80s. That is a buckle. With something on it, but I don't know what. Give it the ever so gentle tap. Try to clean it. Well, that's not what I was hoping. It may be something on there, or written on there, I can't tell. But, I mean, it's similar to the Boy Scout one. It may have something written on it too, but I'm close to a certain war type site. So we'll hang on to it. <laughs> like I was gonna get rid of it anyway. And clean it up and get back to the base camp. I was about to wrap it up and I got a corn signal. And it is a standard issue library. It's definitely my last hole. Best signal I've had this hunt. So 86 and 91, gotta be a silver coin, right? If it's not, 
gotta be put back. You know the rules. Well, it is not. It's only a solid gold Roman anklet for a child. It's too bad. Just kidding. Well, it's time for so long. But we'll sing just one more song. Thanks for doing your part. So we found this buckle and that Boy Scout one, which is awesome to me. This hunk of brass circle, this incredible library, a little piece of a gun, not much. But this here is the part where you talk about what you find. That's why we're doing this. This is a Roman infant anklet, solid gold. And uh, have you guessed what that was yet? If I'm not mistaken, that went there. And that most likely sat on top. Could have been the other way around. It's all bent up and it came to the top and it went. And then it stopped working. And they took it all apart and buried it in the yard. Thanks for watching my video. Came back to the base camp. This is just a regular Boy Scout. Does the same thing except solid brass, but like all of them, when you start cleaning them up, they break. The little clip circles right there on the edges. The other one, I can't find a mark on it, but that's what it looks like. It's got like a little triangular looking shapes on both sides. So, anyway, check that out. Exploring Alabama Junior said, Hey, Dave, let's throw some gourd seeds in a, in a cup and put some water in the around the cotton balls and they'll grow. I said, No, they won't. So it sat up on the counter for a few days and then we stuck it under the sink and forgot about it. So about a week later, that's what it looks like. So, I'm wrong. Thanks for watching my videos.